chair. Uh, she cannot argue with the uh, decision of the chair. And uh, therefore, I know you said I cannot raise on a point of order, but she's totally out of order. You have made a decision that we, in this house, interact with the head of the ministry. Whatever arrangements she has with the National Land Commission on how to source information, that is none of our business. The person who will appear there to answer is the cabinet secretary responsible for matters of land. I thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Yes, For the record, let it reflect that the Minister of Lands, who is my friend, is actually an advocate. And she is conversant with the Constitution of Kenya. Could she fall back to the provision of Article 35 of the Constitution of Kenya that will help her to access the information that we are looking for and then climb down a little bit, Mr. Speaker, and subject herself to being unbearable to this House. Minister, as a, a senior member of government, equally because I'm also a senior member of government, we are expected to make it easy for government to deliver. And therefore, when either the speaker or the, could the minister clarify what she is defending, all we want is information, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I propose that you direct the minister to go back back with a proper question. Nothing else. Now, uh, Honorable uh, CS, I, I think I've already made a, a, a determination on this matter. Now, j j j just have your seat, Honorable CS. J just have your seat. We, we, we I want to help you navigate this, uh, this matter. Now, you did very well because immediately you got the question. You wrote to NLC to provide the information, to provide you with the information that is required by Parliament. But NLC has not responded to your, to your letter. Had they responded to your letter, today you'll be giving us that information. So don't take uh, a blame where uh, you know the person to, 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 to really to, to blame. Because one, you did the right thing. You got this um, question from the Senate. You wrote to NLC for NLC to provide the necessary information and respond to the question. NLC decided not to. Now, as a Senate, this is what we have advised you, that you're not meddling in the affairs of NLC by seeking this information from NLC. And NLC, if you're question then uh, join that meeting. Yes, we'll Trevor, we'll move to question number, that is question number 098, Honorable Sears. 
You may proceed to ask the question. Most appreciated, uh, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair, could the Cabinet Secretary disclose the current holders of the title deeds for the parcels of land in Kamkunji constituency registered as follows. Number one, IR number 36, stroke VII, stroke 1031, on which the ECLE social hall stands. Number two, LR number 36, V11, stroke 3, 1031, uh, bracket 619, stroke 33, which was designated for use as the ECLE open air market and lastly, Honorable Speaker, LR number 209, stroke 12, stroke 2. I proceed to respond. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. The question is in this. It's, there is uh, is in, in three parts, and then uh, what uh, the answer that I'm providing this morning, Honourable Speaker, is that uh, in regard to question. 5.1 and 5.2, I request for more time to be able to provide a comprehensive response because uh, I cannot find some of my records. So I'm not able to bring the information. I need more time. I have already assigned the relevant department to come through all our records to see whether we can get the necessary files. Then uh, we have number three, uh, Roman three, I wish to respond as follows. I think I have given a long statement there. Uh, certificate title number IR, LR209 stroke 1712, original number 1042 and 1041, being a portion of the premises comprised in a grant dated 21st of May 1929, is located in the city of Nairobi measuring approximately 0.34436 of an acre for a term expiring on 1st of August 2024 and for a minimum for an annual rent of the amount stated there 720 and we've given an extra five a copy of that title. The land was initially registered in favor of John Herbert Turner on March 1, 1929. The registered proprietor charged the property and a charge instrument was registered on 2nd of December 1930. Later, on 11th of May 1931, the property was discharged and a transfer was registered in the name of Ferdinandis. Uh, and an extra four speaks to that transfer. On a speaker, on 27th of January 1933, this property was transferred to Kenya Loan and Discount Limited for a consideration amount of 10,000, 10,000, but that was in 1933. Thereafter, October 23rd, 1942, a transfer via public auction of said property to Alan 